I uh, hope you've all been enjoying your CleoCon so far. I don't know for how many of you this was your first one. This was actually my first CleoCon. And I think like being able to talk to everyone and see everyone in person has been like really game changing these days. So today I'm going to be talking about five ways to automate your client intake with Clio Grow and also why it's so important to do so. Before I get started, just wanted to give a quick shout out to our visionary partners for supporting Clio and especially for making this conference possible. My name is Alice, for those of you who I haven't seen at the Product Lab over the past couple of days, and I am a PM on the Grow side. If any of you use Grow and use texting, that's something that my team shipped this year. So to get started, I actually wanted to pose a question to all of you today. And that question is, what matters the most to clients, legal consumers, when looking for a lawyer to work with? Some of you might have some thoughts in mind or might, might know the answer already. A couple of years ago, Clio set out to answer this question as part of our legal trends report. We talked to a bunch of legal consumers and what we learned was that in order, these are the top six things that legal consumers look for. I realize the text is a bit small here, so I'll read them out. Number one is timely responses. Number two is easy to understand. And then process made clear, kept updated on next steps, all questions answered, and number six is transparent cost expectations. Looking at these, wondering if anything pops out to you or maybe is unexpected. Can you believe that cost was only number six here? The other thing that we found was that, and I think someone just called it out over here, but Numbers one through five all had to do with how the firm conveyed information and communicated with the client along intake. And what we learned was that when clients go through intake, they're going through some pretty difficult, confusing moments of their lives, and they want to feel prioritized and taken care of by the lawyer that they're going to hire. In fact, 79% of legal consumers told us that they expect a response to their initial legal inquiry within 24 hours of that inquiry being sent. It might be tough to read out, but it's a 24 hour stat. In other words, first impressions matter and time is of the essence in legal intake. Now, you might be thinking here that there's a couple of contradictions. How can I prioritize all of my clients and in intake, but then still actually make time for the work that matters? My active clients in their cases. And also, how can I reply to everyone within 24 hours and be personalized and answer all their questions? That's why it's really important to add automation to your intake process. With automation, you can spend less time on the routine tasks that you're doing over and over for every intake process. And that gives you more time for billable work and as Jack mentioned in his keynote, improving your utilization rate so you're working on what matters. But not only that, intake actually can provide a better client experience, and I'll go over this in a bit, which providing a better client experience, and as we just learned, can translate into a better chance of being hired and converting more people at the end of the day. All right, over the next 11 minutes, Let's spend some time going over the legal intake journey and what that could look like if it was automated. We'll go over form templates and custom field mapping, Clio scheduler, document templates, tie that all up together with automated emails and text, and then finally share one of Grow's most exciting launches this year, automated workflows. All right, let's get started with form templates and custom fields. So after a potential client first reaches out to you, your first step might be to collect some basic information about them. With form templates, you can create customized, reusable templates with the questions that matter for this matter type, the intake stage, or maybe the jurisdiction that you're in. You can link responses to custom fields in Grow's database so that information that Grow learns from this form are stored in Grow's database and used again in the future where it matters. So this is an example of a personal injury lawyer setting up an intake form for an auto accident. 
In addition to basic contact questions, our PI lawyer wants to get a bit more case specific. And in this question, they create a multiple choice question asking, were you the driver or the passenger? We're gonna see that they're creating the two options, driver and passenger. And then something they're gonna do is add a conditional follow-up question. Only for people who select driver. The follow-up question is, what's your driver's license number? Pretty simple stuff, right? But here's where it gets interesting. Notice our lawyer connecting this to something called a custom field on the contact. What this does is that it connects the, this answer to a field called driver's license number right on the contact. And what that means is that anytime this form template is used in the future and if someone answers their driver's license number, that information is saved to the contact record on Clio Grow. So you won't ever have to dig up that old PDF scan or ask your client to fill it in at the very end of the process because once Grow knows that information, it'll be added back in wherever applicable. And we'll actually go over this a bit more in a bit. Next, I'd like to talk about appointment scheduling with Clio Scheduler. So now that you've collected your client's basic information, you might want to schedule a consultation with them. If you've ever played phone tag to schedule meetings or uh, lost hours of your day to no-shows, you might be happy to know that Clio has a set of tools that helps you circumvent all that. Clio Scheduler really provides hassle-free appointment booking because you can connect your managed calendar and also set availability windows directly onto Clio Scheduler and send a direct booking link to your clients for them to schedule the appointment. You can create different types of appointments and you can make it a paid if you don't want your clients booking you without kind of committing first by making a payment. You can also set up reminders to uh, make sure that they actually come to the appointment. Here's what the experience looks like from the client's perspective. This is an interface that we might all be familiar with using in various parts of our lives and it's pretty straightforward. But once the client books this appointment, like everything else in Grow, Everything is connected, so it gets added right into your manage calendar, the timeline on the matter and the contacts, and even on your agenda in Grow, letting you know, hey, today's the day that I have to go to this consultation. Okay, number three, we're going to be talking about document templates. At this point, you have all the client data you need. Both sides think there's a fit, and you both want to move forward with signing the engagement letter or retainer agreement. Rather than spending hours pulling in all the information you've collected and putting this into a document, triple checking to make sure all the data is correct, you can actually use templated documents in Grow uh, to draft a document and send it out within minutes. So this is what, what I was talking about earlier with intake forms and the information being collected once and then kind of being kept in Grow forever. Let's take a look at this lawyer really shortcutting their document drafting process through uh, adding merge fields to the template. This lawyer is pulling in fields, street address, city, state, zip code. Pretty straightforward stuff and things you might need to collect from your prospective client. But in this case, what we're adding isn't typing the zip code or the state of this client pulled from information from a spreadsheet or double checking across two screens. We're telling Grow, whenever this document is applied to a contact in the future, if you have their address, if you have their driver's license number, their date of birth, automatically plug this into the document so neither you nor your prospective client have to fill it in again. This way, you can send out your document while working with you is fresh on your client's mind and before they've had a chance to say, confirm with someone else or decide that they don't need to work with a lawyer anymore. All right, number four, we're gonna be talking about automated emails and texts. So we've gone through the major touch points in legal intake. But what about how you convey information and keep your clients up to date along the process? That's where emails and text templates come in. With emails, you can actually do a lot. You can create custom email templates with the information that you need, but also information that can help clients feel safer and more secure working with you. In this example, this lawyer has added a logo, a link to the FAQ on their website, and also an attachment to a welcome video. And this is more of like a welcome email, excited to work with you. Here's some information about our firm and about the case that you might be wondering about. I don't know about you, but if I saw this as a client with a lot of questions, I would feel pretty well taken care of by the lawyer that I'm talking to. With text templates, something that we launched earlier this year, 
It's really meant to save you trouble and not make you have to follow up with clients. Because texting makes it really easy for clients to know, here's the next thing that I have to do. Here's the next appointment that I have to go to. And oh yeah, here's the intake form that my lawyer asked me to fill. Prospective clients can get forms and documents sent right to their phones so that they don't have to remember or dig through their spam uh, for their deliverable that they have to do for you to complete the intake and move on to the next stage. All right, so at this point, we've talked about all the ways that you can automate each of the steps. And you might be thinking that, hey, if I add these in, I'll have a pretty well-oiled automated intake process. But what if you could actually automate the movement of a matter along each of these steps itself? That's where automated workflows comes in. And the beauty of automated workflows is that instead of you having to go back into your pipeline and remember, oh, like my client filled out their intake form, let me send them the consultation link. Automated workflows does that for you so that you can get back time to work on the work that matters and so that your clients can get updated instantly without having to wait for you to uh, take a look at where they're at and follow up with them manually about the next steps. This is an example of setting up an automated workflow. You're able to select which form you want to send out at the first stage. You can set up which email you want the form to go with. So information specific to that form or that type of case. You can decide when that form's complete, which pipeline column do I want to move them to? In this case, the next step for intake is to schedule an appointment. So as soon as the form is complete, move the, um, let's see, move the matter to the next uh, status called pending consultation or form complete or whatever your stages are named, and then automatically send out that scheduler link so that it appears as if you replied right away as soon as you saw that the form was complete. But in actuality, you might have even been away from your computer. And if we remember back to the fact that clients expect a 24-hour response on intake inquiries, which might have seemed quite far off before all of this tech, this is a way to shortcut that and reply instantly. All right, so we're two minutes left and blaze through some of the features that help you automate on Clio Grow. What we covered today was essentially a way to automate not only the step-by-step, -step, but the movement throughout the entire intake journey so that you don't have to be tied up remembering who to follow up with, entering the same fields over and over again, or drafting forms and documents for the 10th time today. With form templates, Clio scheduler, document templates, automated emails and texts, and automated workflows. These are the ways that you can actually reimagine your intake journey and do things like save time, but also have your firm stand head and shoulders above the rest and being able to capture clients when they need it. So that's the end of my presentation. Wanted to give a quick announcement that for the duration of ClioCon, which means until the end of today, we have a um, pretty good promotion going on. Normally takes around $400 to set Grow Up, but until the end of today, we can have you set it up for $1. So if you have any questions about this, head over to the Level Up with Clio or find me in the product lab. And yeah, that's it from me. And if you have any questions, I'm going to be in the product lab till end of day. Uh, you can grab my name down or my email address. I always love talking to people about how they can transform their intake journey. All right. Thank you, everyone. Mm -hmm.